Hey guys, RPM here. Hope y'all doing well and having a really great day. I just wanted to update you all on a few different mining software they just updated recently. T-Rex Miner 0.25.8. They have apparently improved the Ethereum and Lithium uh, dual mining performance for LHR cards. And I will show you guys an example with some of my LHR cards here in a second. G-Miner has also updated with Ethereum and Ton for LHR and non-LHR GPUs. So they can do that now for if you are interested in mining Ton as well with Ethereum. And then with LOL Miner, they have added Ethereum and Alethium for dual mining on their AMD cards here. So that's pretty cool. And I wanna show you guys my results with the 6600 XTs dual mining Ethereum and Alethium. And the results are pretty amazing. So I'll show you that in a second. But just to just clarify, you know, these mining software have been coming out with some great optimization and updates and efficiency here. And so I, I really like the dual mining mode for my LHR cards. And I'll show you guys that right now. So I got an RTX 3060 rig here. And this is getting now on the new T-Rex miner version 25.8. Eight, we are now getting about 34 to 35 mega hash, which I normally was getting before. And now we're also getting a little bit higher in terms of the lithium hash rate. But the biggest thing here for me is that I was getting about 32 or 31 mega hash on Ethereum and like 300, 400, pretty much the same, almost the same, a little bit higher now, uh, but in terms of the lithium hash rate, but I've kept the same settings. So this new version, has brought me back up in terms of the almost 35 mega hash on each of my 3060s here which is great right that's normal since these are lhr v2 cards and then they're also mining ethereum on the side here so we are right now getting about 2.2 giga hash so if we just went to what to mine here and typed in 2.2 giga hash power consumption is the same i'm not gonna calculate that but uh really profit per day just I'm not selling the lithium that I'm mining. I'm getting about $1.52 extra a day from dual mining. So really relatively the same power consumption as to what I was mining with Ethereum. Actually, when I was mining Ethereum with these 3060s, I had these at 110 power limit. So I've added on another 15 watts. So if we did the math there, right? 30 times, uh, let's say let's, let's say we added another 90 watts here. Let me just put 90, 90 watts, hit calculate. And we're using about an extra 22 cents a day at 10 cent kilowatt hour. So that's, uh, yeah, I mean, we're, we're still winning, right? We're still winning or getting an extra $1.30 a day of a lithium. Now, uh, some people may ask, Red Panda, you can't really liquidate a lithium yet. And you know what? You're right. Right now, there's only one exchange, a lithium and uh, exchange into USDT. So personally, I am going to be hodling my lithium. This is not financial advice. And, uh, yeah, anyways, that's my 3060s. Okay, really awesome results here. Here are my 3070 Ti's. I've also gone up in hash rate in terms of the Ethereum. All right, I'm at 57, 58 now. I was before, I was about 55 or 54. And uh, I was getting actually more Ethereum hash rate, I think 400 or 500 mega hash. So I've kind of, it's kind of, you know, I've kept the same power consumption here. And some people may be asking, Red Panda, why don't you up the power limit? It's because I don't want to go any higher in terms of power consumption of where I'm mining in my basement. So I like the numbers here. This is good enough for me. And one thing I want to make sure in case some people are wondering is the the flight sheet. So I had to take off 68 intensity in order for it to work on my LHR cards on the new T-Rex version. All right. So some of you guys may run into that issue as well. If you've watched this video of uh, make more profit dual mining ethereum and the lithium on your lhr gpus this was a, back in february 4th if you're watching this video later make sure you don't add in the 68 anymore you know what maybe i'll take the video down or something or you know what i'm gonna pin the comment of this video that i'm just making in this video in case people are gonna look at that because yeah 68 intensity does not work anymore it just it kind of freezes the uh the flight sheet the miner it doesn't mine essentially so there's my 3070 ti's i really like it like this uh, let me know what numbers you guys are using below but i think this is great ultimately this whole rig is getting about another 2.3 giga hash so almost the same in terms of my 3060s here but i am using a little bit more power as well with my 3070 ti's they're using a little bit more as well but you're gaining a little more of that profit so that's great for a lithium uh, assuming uh, i'm not selling though so who knows it could it could go down to zero a lithium could go down to zero so me hodling all of this lithium that i'm mining 
is uh, might not be good. Might 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 just keep going down. Who knows? But of course, just speculation. Now let's talk about my AMD rig. I have a 6600 XT, and I must say these cards dual mining ethereum and Lithium, just makes it a lot better on these cards same power consumption i've noticed maybe a little bit more but look at this we're getting almost the same ethereum hash rate 30 32 mega hash but we're getting 457 to 4 almost 500 mega hash on the lithium so these 6x6600 xts is getting 2.829 giga hash so if we go to what to mine if i go to 2.8 eight two nine giga hash and i'm gonna say another like i'm gonna say we add another 50 watts or something not we didn't really add that much to be honest and we're gaining about an extra two bucks a day along with the 30 to 32 mega hash that we can get on the 6600 xts man these are amazing cards for dual mining ethereum and alethium which is pretty good and i, I didn't talk about i guess lol miner with ton Okay, but I'm doing LOL Miner with Alethium. All right, this is what uh, they have enabled recently as uh, they were able to do Ton before, like a good two weeks ago, right? And yeah, so I think I personally, I like the Alethium mining better than Ton. Ton mining, which G Miner just released, and I don't think I'm going to try. I'm not a, I'm not a big fan of Ton, to be honest, even though with Ton, there is a lot more exchanges where you can essentially liquidate your ton if you're you know if you want to get that into eth or uh, btc essentially so you know everyone has their own strategy i personally i stopped mining dual mining ton ethereum and ton and i'm going full on uh, ethereum and alethium and so it makes it an interesting i guess incentive for potential speculation down the road that alethium could do something or could not do something in terms of its, I guess, the project and also the price, which, uh, which I mean, it's, this is called spec mining, essentially. But hey, it's like, you know, you're mining this extra coin for basically nothing. And it's it's basically kind of like a low risk option, Alethium, especially. Alethium, I would say, is a lot cooler to mine in terms of temperatures and power consumption than Ton. I know that we can add more power consumption to get higher mega hash here on my 3070 Ti's, but like I said, with my existing power consumption in the basement, I don't want to go any higher. So everyone's situation is different. I know you can add more power. Just going to clarify that. A lot of people may ask, Red Panda, you can get higher hash rate. I know. Trust me. I know. I just like to run my GPUs a little bit lower in power consumption just so that I can stay within my power capacity that I have with my other graphics cards and not get things too crazy, nothing too hot. All right, just to let you guys know, dual mining can be can be really lucrative, yes, but it can also add on that extra heat. It can also add on that extra power, and you guys have to be mindful of that when you are going to be doing dual mining, Ethereum and uh, Lithium, but more so Ethereum and Ton. Ton definitely takes takes a lot more in my opinion. So, anyways, guys, I yeah, that's it. That's basically it. That's all I wanted to show you. And let me know if you guys are dual mining Ethereum and Alethium or maybe Ethereum and Ton. Give me your reasons why or why not. And just to finalize here, I, I my results with my 3060s and my 6600 XTs, this is pretty good. The, these are pretty amazing results. And yeah, I've moved over all of my 6600s to uh, dual mining Ethereum and Alethium and as well as my 3060s. And uh, all LHR cards are doing Ethereum and Alethium right now using LOL Miner for my AMD cards. And I'm using T-Rex Miner, latest version for all of my LHR cards. Now, I forgot to mention my non-LHR cards. Some of you guys may be asking, Red Panda, why don't you dual mine on those? And I personally, I, I saw some numbers. I don't think it's, you know, it's, it's going to knock off, I think, another 2% hash rate or something. Uh, from what I've been reading and so it's like using like LHR or it's using the intensity of like 98 or something and I don't know if I like that for my non LHR GPUs and so I'm gonna just keep them as is as I'm doing Ethereum and Zilliqa I'm on those it's not quite dual mining it's more kind of like you know couple second couple minutes mining a day on Zilliqa so it's just switching between another coin for Ethereum and Zilliqa but for the majority of those that are into mining recently and they have LHR cards again this makes it 
pretty awesome that you can use utilize 100 percent of the gpu for ethereum and lithium and uh other dual mining methods as well which will probably come out a lot more prevalent in the next i would say before the merge after the merge this year if the merge happens of course you guys know that whole debacle anyways thanks guys for watching let me know your thoughts have a good one and peace out